here with uh, Miss uh, Becky Parry. Um, she's a member of the jury of the Olympia International Film Festival. Uh, is that your first time on the jury of the festival? It is the first time I've been on any jury um, and then I'm, I've somehow managed to be on two juries at once, so Allo Kino and Olympia. Uh, so I have watched lots and lots of films, but yes, it's my first time um, as a jury member, which I've really loved. I've loved hearing other people's uh, views. I have missed watching the films with young people and children though, that, that would have made it even better. Why did you decide to start teaching about cinematography? So I don't actually teach about cinematography. I'm in an education department in Sheffield, but I'll tell you when. So my interest in film really stemmed from when I was a classroom teacher in kind of high school, secondary school. And um, I'd have lots of students who knew more about film than they did say about Shakespeare or Dickens or the other books they were being asked to study. and I thought what they knew about film was actually really important and interesting so I wanted to include it in my teaching and that then kind of got me more and more interested in children's film. Um, I have got a bit of a background also in um, children's film festivals so I um, started a film festival in Sheffield a long time ago um, because there weren't enough films sort of serving young audiences so um, that, that was something that I was really uh, felt really strongly about. But the, the interest in film, I'm not a kind of film studies person. I'm much more a person who's interested in what children and young people are interested in. Uh, but are you running a, a research um, now? Can you tell us a few words about your research? Yes, so actually the two um, pieces of research that I'm involved in at the moment, um, one I've just finished was a study of um, children uh, undertaking filmmaking activity and then seeing what impact that might have on their writing and that was really interesting because although I would say the research that we did sh didn't particularly show that um, the children's writing was improved in ways that would help them pass their tests we did see some really interesting changes in their writing in terms of their ability to kind of describe the setting or the characters we saw some interesting things in terms of managing time, so having kind of clear narrative structure, um, all sorts of things. So it was, it was, it was. We felt a little bit disappointed at first because we were hoping that it would show, oh, you know, it's helped them succeed in school. Um, it didn't particularly show that, but it definitely did show that they'd uh, the quality of their writing had improved, um, and that was with a particular teaching um, pedagogy that um, really, really, really focuses on film language. So that was that was a really interesting study. And then um, one that I've actually more just started is looking at um, virtual reality. So that's quite a new departure for me, but still moving image. So we're looking at um, creating a story world in VR where children can uh, make choices about the story from existing assets. So, you know, like you would choose the characters and the plot and then you can generate some of the sort of storyline. Um, and as you go through, there's three stages and as you go through, there's kind of more and more that you have control over to, to in the story. Um, and that's that's kind of new. It's a new experience uh, for me. I'm, I'm really enjoying working with a creative partner on that. But doing the research online, a bit like we're talking now, <laughs> has been really challenging because obviously I'd hope to be in the room with the children when they were trying things out and we had to do everything online. That's what I was meaning to ask you if you were doing this online. And yes, I've been doing a lot of everything online everything online uh, so lots of teaching online um and we're doing we're allowed to do a little bit of face-to-face -face here in sheffield our university lets us do a little bit of teaching um in the actual building but most of the teaching and research is all online at the moment 
So, um, do you believe that watching movies can cont- contribute in the process of education? Because um, you just said that your first research had something to do about it. Yes, I mean, I'm I'm a huge believer that film is important. So I believe that film is in, an important part of our culture. Film tells us and enables us to think about who we are. Um, and like any other art form, whether that's writing, painting, music, all of those things to me are extremely important. And only really by teaching, enabling children to learn the skills to make things, to create things, to express their ideas, are we kind of enabling them to face kind of quite a challenging future um, with with some optimism and some um, skills that will help them to to kind of face those challenges. Um, In terms of film, I think for me, film is really um, unique in in enabling um, children to see themselves represented on the big screen. It doesn't always happen. Us women are underrepresented on the screen, as you'll probably, um, you'll have seen yourself, you know, lots and lots of films have male leads, but we see ourselves represented, we see our points of view presented, and we see that um, stories, interesting, unknown stories um, presented to us in a way that is just really different to say a novel or a painting um, their shared experiences in a cinema perhaps or in, at home um, on a smaller screen we can discuss them quite quickly as soon as we've watched them we've got something to say about them um, and it's just a uh, it's just such a, to me, it's such an important medium that young people know lots about already. You're not starting from, okay, uh, you're all going to learn about, um, I don't know, a, 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 an artist that none, none of you have ever heard of before. Most young people will have some knowledge of film um, and then our role is to kind of develop that and expand that, hopefully. Great, thank you. And... Uh, in your opinion, um, what's the difference between watching a movie in a screening room and streaming a movie from your computer? I mean, so I can I can answer that as in a number of ways, really. So so I've been a I have very, very important film memories um, as a child going to the cinema for the first time, for example, with my grandma, with my sisters. These are really important memories to me. Um, of going to films, I still, when I go to the cinema, even now after all these years, I still get that feeling when the lights go down of excitement, of anticipation. Um, I love being in that space with other people. I love hearing their responses and and getting that kind of atmosphere. Um, So I love screenings and I don't think we'll ever lose the sort of experience of going to the cinema. Um, I do also like watching things at home um, sometimes and I think there's some really good uh, obviously when you're at home you can do your own thing you can eat your tea while, you, mm-hmm. while you're watching and other snacks um, you know there is a convenience kind of thing um, it, there are some films though that if you watch them on television you just don't get the same impact as you do on a big screen with brilliant sound and that kind of whole feeling of being in an auditorium so for me cinema is still really important that the advantages of being able to watch back though and bear in mind I'm of an age where so so you might get one Disney film coming out at the cinema every two to three years they weren't on video at that time I'm showing my age now um each Christmas in the UK we'd get to watch The Wizard of Oz as a Christmas film which was on television at a particular time so it wasn't a video so the fact that we can watch stuff at home the fact that we can pause it replay scenes that we really love. Um, in, certainly in our research, we see a lot of um, children enjoying that ability to go to favorite scenes, for example. So I think there's lots of advantages of being able to easily access things. We can access more material, um, but I don't think it replaces the sort of emotional quality of going to see a, um, a film with friends. I mean, that's the other thing is you really recall films with, about you know who you went with, what you thought about it. They, they become events. Events, exactly. And um, do you believe that the coronavirus is creating obstacles uh, for the growth of the arts and especially filmmaking? Well, again, um, typical, typical academic to have two answers to that question. So on the one hand, I would say, obviously, there are huge obstacles and it's a real worry. Every 
industry um, that is already kind of hard pressed, every creative organization who are already struggling will be struggling more because it's no, there's no new resources, there's no new audiences and, and you know, and we have to work really hard not to lose all the infrastructure that's built up around cinema because it's so important. Um, I do think that one of the things that, as so somebody coming from an education perspective is I've seen people being quite imaginative and resourceful as you get in the arts generally, you know, people are being creative. So they're still trying to make sure that young audiences can access fantastic films as Olympia is doing, as other festivals are doing. I mean, I guess we'd all feel so deflated and uh, pessimistic if if we didn't have um, these events to look forward to. So the, it, so they're so important that they're carrying on, but it is really challenging. Um, and sometimes at these times, people say, "Well, you know, it's health that's important, and we want don't want people to we want people to be safe, so the arts doesn't matter." Um, but I think we have to you know what what are we kind of staying safe for we're staying safe to connect with each other to have um tell our stories to have a kind of um engagement with with the world through culture and so i i think that those things are just as much um you know they're just as important if not more so we need support but it is it is a, a challenge that I think only by kind of being sensible and talking to each other and and um, trying to kind of come up with practical solutions will we will we kind of um, get through to the other side. Thank you. And we have one last question for you. Um, have you participated in other online film festivals or this year was your first experience? And what do you think of the movies of our festival so far? There are quite a lot of really quite different films and, and the um, Olympia films are um, films obviously really targeting older young people as well as, as you know, the very young children. Um, and so that's brought into the mix and really uh, very hard hitting, very, you know, big issues being dealt with. Um, and so, I mean, obviously, I absolutely loved engaging with those. I thought the quality of the films was was just uh, incredible. Um, so on the one hand, I was so hugely moved by Antigone, which I loved. Um, I thought the performance um, of the lead actress in that was was incredible. Um, I also loved Sisters, The Sisters, which um, I don't know how well people are noticing that film, but um, I just loved the fact that it was uh, showing sisters because I have sisters and it reminded me of my childhood, but I thought the way that they showed how children play uh, I, and the resilience of the two girls I thought was was wonderful. I loved um, when Pic Hitler stole Pink Rabbit, um, Judith Kerr after her journeys around Europe um, who's she's she's the novel writer that the story is based on and she settled in England and became a really much loved children's author so to see that book kind of turned into a film was incredible um I have a real uh, strong uh sort of uh, connection to um a, a, one of the films called um Daniel 16 um which I thought was again really powerful and acted in a you know, just beautifully acted, really understated acting of the lead in that so that he, you know, we only see very gradually his kind of coming out of his shell, his kind of character developing. Um, brilliant, very, very hard hitting storyline, very important film. So I hope that people, young people in the UK get to see some of these films. I hope that. Great. We're looking forward to see the results of the jury. Thank you very much for this interview. Uh, we hope you find the questions interesting and have a nice uh, day. Thank you very much. Was that okay for you? Yeah, it was perfect. Your answers okay. were complete. It was perfect. Thank you very Quite much. Long. Δεν θα το κάνεις καν μοντάζ, το ξέρεις. Ναι.